A few raindrops on this Sunday, but apparently that's just the appetizer for tomorrow's main course. Meteorologist Nate Larson uh, is here with what we can expect. It's at least a three course meal uh, there, Rick. We've got, yeah, today was just a very uh, little taste of what's to come this week. We've got a couple of storms that are lined up for the work week. The first one arrives tomorrow afternoon and evening. It will linger through Tuesday. Uh, but boy, before we get to that, look at this. Just a beautiful shot. This is Hebrew Airport looking off towards the south. You can see the sun going down, just cre uh, lighting up the sky. It's a very fiery sunset in that area. Looks like it's a beautiful uh, end of the day across much of uh, northern, even central Utah. So, yeah, snap your photos, send them in, or tag us uh, online. We'd love to share your photos as well. Current conditions showing the colonial flag shot here at the studio. We've got some south winds. Uh, again, we had a very weak disturbance graze over northern Utah, generated mainly cloud cover. Didn't really feel any precipitation or see any out there. Some of the mountain areas saw a few snowflakes. We're sitting at 49 degrees, though, with the south wind at 14 miles per hour. So plan on conditions staying quite breezy, if not blustery, into the overnight hours ahead of this next system that's going to be moving in. Wind chill not too bad, 44 degrees. Uh but we've had gusts up to 22 miles an hour. So again, some very light showers still lingering across mainly the mountain areas as the system pushes through uh, all of Utah. In fact, we're seeing a little bit of light precipitation all the way down to the southern and uh, southwest uh, corner of the state. Uh, another storm, as I mentioned, for Monday, it'll be valley rain again, mountain snow, and it's going to stay very active through Wednesday. So we've got our first system, as I mentioned, arriving tomorrow into Tuesday. Let's kind of walk you through it. And another one Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. So uh, here's our weak storm system. This particular model showing it kind of already exiting the state, but we're still seeing a little bit of light precipitation. Southwest flow, this storm system tapping into more subtropical air, so it's a very moist air mass that's going to be moving in. That, that means it'll stay mild for the valleys. Temperatures warm enough to just see some showers tomorrow afternoon, primarily into the evening hours, and it'll be statewide as well. Southwest Utah also expecting some rain, and we'll see heavy mountain snow. Get a bit of a lull into Tuesday, a bit of a break between storm systems, but then here comes the next one, Tuesday afternoon lingering into Wednesday. We might be cold enough as we get northwest flow Wednesday morning to see a little bit of snow with snow levels dropping to the valley floors. But for the most part, uh, we're going to see a decent amount of rain. In fact, it's looking like a good half of an inch or so. Winter weather alerts again for all of our mountain areas, generally 6 to 12 inches, maybe even 10 to 20 inches for the western Uintas or the uh, higher Uintas, I should say, the upper Cottonwoods. Even the southern mountains expecting a good 6 to 12 inches of moisture as well. Uh, the Uinta Basin could see uh, anywhere from two to six inches. F future rainfall, uh, as far as how much we're expecting to see, again, depending on where you're at, it should be a good quarter of an inch to half of an inch of moisture as we get rolling into uh, this storm system. Uh, overnight, plan on just cloudy skies. Showers tomorrow. Temperatures in the 40s across the north. 53 for St. George. In fact, St. George will stay in the 50s, even with the showers pushing through. 54 tomorrow, breezy, or excuse me, on Tuesday, breezy. 51 on Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies into the weekend, with temperatures staying fairly consistent, mid 50s expected for highs. The Wasatch Front showers again tomorrow afternoon. 45 for the high. Rain on Tuesday off and on. Rain and snow possibly early, maybe just snow early Wednesday. Then we dry out through the rest of the week, but we could have a chance of moisture returning into early next week as well. Rick?